welcome to my violin studio. I'm Ingrid and this is the first Etudes album series. We are on Etude number four, which is still in C major. And uh, hopefully you've been going through this book and you're getting pretty good at C major. So we're not gonna do the scale this time. Um, you can look back at number three. I know there's a C major scale. There's probably in one and two, but I don't remember. <laughs> So, I know there's one for A tube 3, there's a C major scale in there, and you can practice the C major scale on your own. I do want to practice a couple things in here before we start though. Measures 1 and 2, I just want to do those really slowly with you, so for intonation, getting really well in tune. So let's find our C natural. Right, A below 2 is C natural. Now find the D third finger. Make sure you have a really good ringing three. You can check it with your open D. And let's play just the first two measures, slowly. Two, three, four. that one more time really listening for that ringing three when you get there ready play measures five and six. You can see the little five in parentheses, right? And this is where we're going to add that C sharp. Right? So this is D, C sharp, and then fourth finger. All right? So that's a little tricky too. Let's try that. Measure five and six. Ready, play. Do that one more time. Ready, play. Okay, so those are two good spots to kind of prep you for this. One more on the second line. You see it starts with measure nine, then there's measure 10. In measure 11, I'd like to practice finding that F natural. F natural back to the D, to the E. So it measures 11 and 12. Let's do that slowly. If you hear your intonation is slightly off, don't just, you know, oh well, fix it. Fix it right away. Right? Here we go. Ready, play. trouble getting from this F natural back to the D. Ding dong. So you could practice that really listening for those ringing sounds. Okay, I think that's all we need to go over. I mean, there's other tricky things. If there's a spot that gives you trouble, you should definitely take a minute and look at just that spot. Remember to always find a solution when you're practicing. Not just like, oh, I should be better and try again, and it should be better and try again. Because what should be better, right? Be specific about what needs to be better. Like my one needs to be lower, or my two needs to be higher, or it's the second finger or the first finger. You know, be specific about what you're trying to fix. Okay, here we go. Slowly, nice long bows. We're gonna try to be very smooth and keep a nice steady beat. One. Two, three, four.
when you go slowly and with ringing tones. That's really nice. So let's do it one more time. Uh, after you can do that, make sure you are really secure in your notes. And now let's go a little bit faster. So this is around 72 if you're practicing with the metronome. One, two, three, four. Good luck, happy practicing, and I'll see you next time.